Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I have the Ayamaya hammock that has both a bug net and a sunshade. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. The first thing you may notice is that this carrying case has this strange circular pattern on the backside. And that is because this has hoops in here to hold the mesh or the bug netting above your head. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and open the bag and pull this out and see what it looks like. And of course we will go outside and hang this so we can test it out for real. The two straps required to hang this onto a tree. There's supposed to be some carabiners in here as well. I bet those carabiners are on the, the end straps already. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone straight out yeah, there they are. So a nice heavy duty carabiner designed to hold a person's weight. All right, we're here in the woods where I've got a couple of sturdy trees to try installing this hammock. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I think the first task will be to get those straps out of here. We'll have to pull them out of the bag. All right, here we go. So these are just your typical hammock web. And on this end, there are a whole bunch of loops. Let me show you that a little closer here. So you can see all of the loops that are sewn in. I think that's referred to as a daisy chain. The strap has a long section with one loop on the end. And then the other side has a bunch of loops that are consecutive one after the other. I think that's referred to as a daisy chain. So to get this on the tree, I'm going to take the long side that has a single loop and go around a couple of times. Let's do one more time here. This is a pretty small tree. Okay, and now I'm going to pass the daisy chain side through the single loop and that will allow us to cinch down on the tree but also give us the option to tighten down the hammock or loosen the hammock based on the carabiner placement on this daisy chain and not have to adjust this again. Okay, let's go ahead and install this hammock. I'm excited to see how well the loops hold up the bug netting and see what the sunshade is like. All right, so here's our first carabiner. I'm just gonna find one of these loops over here. I don't know which one we'll need yet, but we'll put it in that one and we'll walk over here to the other one. So that's one direction. Let's go ahead and flip it over and it should drop the hammock portion down so we can then use this with the bug netting up. There we go. The sunshade is actually more than I was even anticipating. It seems to cover quite a lot. It's got these toggle and loop there we can adjust in a minute. All right, let's test it out. So the zipper here zips all the way from one side to the other, which is nice so you can zip it all the way up and over if you need to Let's see if i have this thing up high enough or if i'm going to sag down i think i'm going to go up a little bit higher on my strapping system okay that's one section higher yeah that's better <laughs> I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> Very cool. I like this. At the time of this review, this hammock is running somewhere around $45. And uh, it's cool enough that I definitely say it's worth that. So once I'm in here, the sunshade is not quite as big as it looked from out there, but it will 100% keep the majority of the sun off of you. 
one really cool thing that I'm seeing is that the zipper can basically go all the way off and fold up into a little bag over here. Would you like to join me in the hammock? So the storage bag hangs down so you can put items in there, like uh, overnight stuff, if you're gonna be sleeping in this thing. Yeah. Okay. So if I were to stretch out like I would typically be in a hammock here, you can see that the sunshade is blocking out the sun pretty good if there was sun today. The bug netting is tucked up in the corner so there's not gonna be any seams where bugs can get into. And like I was saying before, if you grab a zipper, you can unzip all the way around the entire perimeter. All the way over here to this little bag, which is right here. And that can allow you to put the whole fly into it. So all of that can be zipped up all the way around. Okay, so I've got the hammock mesh right here and it can be folded up into this little bag because it all will unzip to this point right here. And so you can put this in there, it'll be out of your way and you've got just a regular open hammock with a sunshade. Now with the sunshade, you can remove the whole thing altogether and just have basically a regular hammock plus a little bit of netting on the end. Or you could uh, pull these toggles here that I showed you a second ago and that will allow you to uh, basically fold this whole thing up and out of the way. But this whole hammock is 180 degree reversible. So you could leave all this where it is, flip it over and have a normal hammock. So I think we will do that next. Let me zip all of this back up into place real quick. This hammock advertises a one or two person, but it's definitely a one person adult and you could probably put two kids in here. Now, the mesh is only on the top, so Ayamaya also sells an underquilt, which you would probably use to keep the bugs off of you from the bottom, because mosquitoes can still reach through this fabric pretty easy and get you. Um, but as far as the top goes, you're pretty well secured from those no and just the annoying gnats and that kind of thing. Um, so cool. I like it a lot. It's fun in here. Plenty of ventilation. And... Uh, more than enough headroom, uh, so it's definitely a full-length hammock. I could probably adjust this a little bit to get it more uh, level, but I like this. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this 180 and see what it's like from the other direction. So it should be as easy as just flipping it over 180 and jumping in. I'm assuming there's enough stretch on the mesh here that we won't be destroying anything. Let's just uh, give it a try and see how that situation turns out. It's a little awkward. The uh, poles don't quite go under as you would anticipate. That's a little better there. <laughs> yeah, so you can do it this way. Um, it's just a bit strange. So I think I will mostly use it in the net up configuration. Let's see what it looks like whenever I remove the sun visor from it so it just has toggles that i'm going to remove and then you have to open up the carabiner and just pull that on back there we go and so that's what this thing looks like with the screen on only so for just out here in the woods 
wouldn't need this sun visor. This product is outdoorsy enough. I don't think we have to go back into the studio to close this video out. I like this hammock. It is pretty cool. I think my kids will really enjoy this whenever we go camping next time. So I'm not much of a hammock sleeper, but I can definitely tell if you need to be in this overnight, you're going to want to have the under quilt because it is extremely breathable, which is what you want in the middle of summer. But when you're sleeping, it may get a bit cool. Um, so check out that from Ayamaya as well. This one right here, like I said, somewhere around $45 and it comes with a lot. So definitely worth checking out. If you've got some comments, write those down below. I would appreciate it and definitely go check them out on Amazon. Link in the description down below as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Tools, Tech and Gear and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Whoa, hold on. I forgot to take this back down and get it in the storage bag here in the field. So let's do that real quick. Get that carabiner off. Get that side off. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is find the two loops once again and match those up here. And then I can just kind of fold it under a bit to make that small circle. And I need to find that storage bag. Yep, there it is. All right. Let's just try first stuffing those two loops back in the bag. Okay. And then all of this, I'm just going to follow along and stuff that in as well. I think that method works out pretty good to get this back in there. So now we got to get the straps in there. These straps will never be wound up as nice as they were earlier. Okay, just got the other one. All right, and it's done. Cinch it up there. Keep everything from coming back out. All right, how's that? It's a pretty uh, small profile as well. Cool, all right, check that one out if you want to.